So I'm going to create a new PHP file. If you're in Dreamweaver, you can do Control N and create. We're going to go ahead and strip out this basic HTML setup. And we'll do some PHP tags. So in order to make this connection, we're going to need four pieces of information. We're going to need the host name, which is the location of the database. Oftentimes it's just local host or an IP address. The database username, password, and the name of the database. And once you have this information, then we need to run the MySQLi connect function. Let's come down here and then on line 10 here, we'll do the at symbol mysqli underscore connect and then our parentheses so like every other function in this parentheses we're going to need to put in our parameters and these parameters is the information that we just spoke about and since each one of these is going to be a string make sure that each parameter is within quotation marks so the first parameter is the host name which is going to be in our case, localhost. Second parameter, the username, which if you remember from part one, my particular hosting company requires me to have a prefix before the username and database name. So you might check with your hosting company and see if you actually need to do that or not. If you're running this on a local server uh, within your own home network, then odds are you probably don't have a prefix but we do have a prefix and that is study underscore and then the username it's just example next we have our password and I'm just going to use a generic fake password here then the last parameter our database name which is study underscore and we name the database the same name as our username so this is also study underscore example so now we can go ahead and save this. Now if you aren't saving this on a local server, make sure you go ahead and upload at this point. So we saved and uploaded. And we go to our page and it's blank. That's because we really haven't done anything. We've connected to the database, but other than that there is no output or anything like that. So let's just make sure that we actually did connect to the database. And to do that, we're going to run a little error handling here. So after this, on the same line we're going to say OR in all caps DIE, not a very pleasant function name, <laughs> um, and then in parentheses we're going to run the MySQLi underscore connect underscore error function and if there's an error with our connection here it will output the error. Let's go ahead and save this and upload and take a look again. Refresh, and we're all good. So let's really quick see what would happen if there was an error. So I'm just going to put an incorrect character here in the database name. Save this and upload it. Refresh, and there you go. We can personalize this a little more here by actually putting in a string before the error. So let's do that really quick. So we'll do a set of quotes here, and we're just going to say something like and then we need to make sure we concatenate this, so put a period after the last quote there. And we'll go ahead and save this, and again I still have the error in there, so we can take a look at this, that one's still uploaded. So refresh, and there you go. So that's personalized a little bit. And I have a typo. So, so there you go. And we're going to go ahead and save this. So the last thing we're going to do before we move on to writing a query is we're going to actually save this information into a variable. So instead of just running it right off the bat, we're going to store it in a variable, and we're just going to call this variable DBC for short, and that is short for database connection. So now whenever we need to run a query, rather than having to type out this entire thing each time we want to connect to the database, we can place this here in the connection parameter. 
and you'll see that here in a second. So go ahead and save. Now before we move forward, we're going to go ahead and save this connection in another file um, for two reasons. One, that's usually the common practice, and two, I'd like to be able to run this script without having to come in and change the password every time I want to test it um, because I'm not using the correct password here for my own security. So let's go ahead and save as, and usually we would store this in a directory um, previous to the public directory on your server. So most servers root directory is something like public underscore HTML or a www. We would usually store this in the folder before that, which makes it harder for hackers to access. Um, but in this example, we're just going to keep it in the same folder and we will just call this connect.php. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. And in our new example here, I'm going to take all this out. And we're going to run a simple include function. And put the path to the connection script right here. Now if you were to put this in a folder that was before the root directory, you would do something like dot dot slash connect or something to that effect to make sure you point it to the correct spot. I just added a little bit of commenting here and just a reminder that uh, we've stored the full connection in the DBC variable or database connect variable. Now nine times out of ten you're gonna want to load this connect script before anything else or at least at the the top of the document you're definitely going to want to load it before you access the database in any way. Otherwise, you won't be able to. So let's talk about the query function.